It's no big secret that a lot of video games are inspired by movies, comics, books, hell, even other video games. The reality is, almost nothing is made in a vacuum. But it's always interesting to see where some of the most popular works draw their inspiration. And sometimes, it's in places you wouldn't expect. Resident Evil, or Biohazard, I've mentioned a million times, is my favorite series ever. The first game in the series, released in 1996, is pretty damn rough compared to the games that followed it. What? Oh! Oh no! But it was the first, and because of that, has some of the most interesting DNA. Like the ideas that formed the final product and where they all came from. It's fairly well known that Resident Evil was originally intended to be a remake of Capcom's 1989 Famicom game, Sweet Home. Arguably the original survival horror. It was actually a horror RPG. Very weird. It was never released outside of Japan, but fan translations do exist, and goddamn, I absolutely have to play it on the channel someday. And Sweet Home, believe it or not, is a movie tie-in game based on the Japanese film by the same name, which I actually watched recently, and is batshit crazy. Yep, you are witnessing the origins of Resident Evil. Hell yeah, dude, I love this stuff. And of course, anything with zombies, you have to acknowledge Night of the Living Dead by George Romero, which basically created the rules of how zombies work in popular culture. So, with the combination of Sweet Home and classic zombie films, Resident Evil's influences are pretty damn apparent. But of course, you're here for the thumbnail, and this is where things get really weird. And that's how the game's clearly influenced by the 1995 Sylvester Stallone film, Judge Dredd. For real. This room has been pacified. This started making the rounds on the internet and only started to reach more widespread awareness in the last year or so. And damn if it isn't spot on. The final area in Resident Evil has a pretty significant change in tone compared to the rest of the game. Ditching the dingy old mansion for a cold, high-tech underground lab facility, and it's here where we meet the game's final boss, the Tyrant. Don't come this way! No! Now, let's observe some comparisons. Scenes from Judge Dredd to Resident Evil. There's an almost undeniable resemblance to the scenes of the clone in Judge Dredd to that of the Tyrant in Resident Evil. Both look very similar in design, both being held in glass tanks, similar framing in some of these shots, it's crazy. And then you need to consider the timeline. Judge Dredd was released in 1995, one year before Resident Evil was released. I can only imagine game director Shinji Mikami in deep thought about how his new game should end. And then he goes and catches a screening of Judge Dredd and is like, yeah, I'll just do that. <laughs> but you know, generic looking, super zombie, labs looking kind of the same. Maybe just a coincidence, right? Maybe, but probably not. I always found the front cover to the original PS1 Resident Evil to be a little odd. I still think it looks awesome, but it just looks so different than the art direction in the rest of the game. Like, it doesn't even really look like Chris Redfield. Well, if you put it next to this shot from Judge Dredd, things start to make a bit more sense. The stance, the camera angle, couple this with the similarities with the tyrant scenes and the timeline, and you have some pretty irrefutable proof. Resident Evil kind of copied some stuff from Judge Dredd. You betray the law! And you know what? I'll do you one better. This is a magazine scan showing an early version of Resident Evil's cover art. See, <laughs> that's that's just Stallone, dude. <laughs> He's even rocking the deep V and everything, the shirt's the same. Again, nothing is made in a vacuum. Things like this happen all the time. And hell, Silent Hill even took this a step further and was like, you guys got Stallone? Fine, we got Schwarzenegger. <laughs> and then proceeded to copy the entire school from Kindergarten Cop. No joke. It's crazy. Check out my video on that one, too. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, let me know what you thought about it, and hit the like button if you enjoyed it. It really does help me out a lot. And as I said, be sure to check out that Silent Hill Kindergarten Cop video, because it's absolutely ridiculous. Thanks again for watching this one. Peace.